Hi, this is Vivek. In this video, we'll see how to work on converting UST to INR and INR to UST. I'm going to use uh, real time exchange rates with an API. And uh, here you can see on this uh, document, I've already created these steps. And this is a URL. I'm going to paste this in browser so that we should get the JSON response. And I'm going to convert that response into PHP object. For the INR, and uh, these are the exchange rates in all currencies, and we can use it in all the currencies. Here, I am going to work on USD, USD to INR. So, I'll enter it as USD, and uh, these are all the exchange rates for the USD. And uh, to get this uh, information, I am going to use these methods functions php functions and uh, using curl i am going to get the exchange rates and uh, with this curl init and curl setup curl execute and curl error using these functions i am going to get the response from this uh, exchange rates hyphen api.com and i am going to convert that into php object or php array using json decode and uh, I'm going to, I'm opening a PHP block and I'll save this as UST to INR. Okay. Curl init and uh, I'm initializing curl with a curl variable and curl setup. We have two options. If it's a curl setup, first one is a curl variable, and a second one is curl option URL. And this is a URL I'm going to use. Here, these are simple steps, and I'm going to show you one other way to get the exchange rates for different currencies. Here I am going to do two conversions that is UST to INR and another one is INR to UST and I will do the next one in a different uh, method without using curl. Curl setup and the curl next one is curl option return transfer that is to get the JSON response and the value is true i am going to assign this to response curl error i'll assign this to error so in case of error we should see the error print underscore r response after loading this page what we should get is we should get the same response in this url localhost slash scripts slash usd inr.php here i am using exam server and uh, in exam server, I have created a directory scripts. In that script, I have created a usd to inr file and uh, I am going to create a next inr to usd. That's the next one. Here we have an error on line number 5. It's mostly semicolon. I know that. Here is the data. Same as this one. Same information. And uh, what I am going to do is, I am going to convert this into object. Print underscore r. JSON decode response. Now we should see this data. This is a object. This is a PHP object. JSON data converted into PHP object. And I am going to use pre tags so that uh, we can see it in a formatted object now to access this uh, inr exchange rate 
or n or converted rate i should use i haven't to send this to object so object object or anything else exchange rates you can use uh, whatever you want response and to get this inr conversion rate object and after the object it's a rates and then it's a inr rates inr okay echo after this object we should see this rate 71.79 here if I see and you can access any of this and uh, you can use it, all this data in your application and uh, you don't need API API key for this it's a free you can use without any API key in your applications and the same thing for INR I am going to do it here but in a different method INR to UST And uh, before proceeding with this, I want to convert uh, an amount into USD based on this. Let's consider an example. I have a product with a 10 USD and I want to display that item in INR price. To do that, I am going to do this 10 USD INR and uh, product cost or product price equals to 10 this is a usd and to get inr price 10 multiplied by inr exchange and we can use it directly or we can assign this to a variable inr exchange rate semicolon is must and should INR exchange rate. That's it. Echo break tag. Echo INR price semicolon. After reloading, we should see the ten dollars product price. This is a product price for ten dollars in INR. That is seven one seven. This is a product cost in INR for a ten dollars product. One USD equals to seventy one point seven nine, and ten dollars equal to seven seven one seven point nine. And we can round this using round. Seven one seven point nine eight. That's it. And next one more task that is converting INR to USD. I am going to do this in uh, next video because it's already around uh, 10 minutes. So I want to convert this into a second video. I'll do that in a next video with a different method using file get contents instead of curl. Thank you for watching.